Well, some good news here in the Hub City. One of our most vulnerable populations has reported zero cases. KLBK's Brenda Lipinski spoke to the Salvation Army about our homeless population to find out what it's been like the past few weeks. The streets are dead, you know, just, just empty. It's kind of weird. It's almost like a, like a surreal movie. Noah Culberson has been at the Salvation Army since February and says living at the shelter during this pandemic can be concerning. Especially with upstairs, there's, you know, it's all somewhat dorm, dormitory type. And, uh, you know, someone might come in and all of a sudden they get it. And I mean, it could spread like wildfire in here. He says getting back on his feet during this time has been difficult. It's definitely trying, also trying hard, hard to get a job now because nobody, because of the, almost all businesses except the essentials are closed, so no one's really hiring right now. Other residents, like Lori Doyle, are making adjustments too. I'm clean and sober 15 months, and I really miss having AA meetings, and um, I've searched out on Zoom. They have some meetings online. But, um, you know, it's, it's different, and I'm really glad the city's starting to uh, open up. Social Services Director Erica Hitt says the Salvation Army has increased their sanitation practices to keep residents safe, and so far she says they're doing okay. We've had an individual that was running fever, and um, we immediately got him to the hospital to get him tested. Um, you know, he kind of, he had some of the symptoms, however, luckily it was negative. And she says they prepared some quarantine shelters if someone does contract the virus. We are all doing good. Um, this entire homeless community, I'm, I'm just so proud of. Now, that is something to be proud of. And Ms. Hitt says they'll also help their residents with transportation if they do need to go to the hospital.